Cameroonian YouTuber. Hmm, I have a lot to catch you guys up on, but I am back in Cameroon. I moved back to Cameroon. I'm currently squatting at my sister's place. I literally slept on the couch yesterday, but it's not because of anything. Actually, I always sleep in the bedroom with her, but um, I came back late last night. Yesterday was date night. You know, I feel like I'm giving too much information without any backstory. I'm back in Cameroon and I'm in Douala. And um, my boyfriend lives in Douala. So yesterday was date night. So I came back really late around 11 p.m. And I didn't want to, you know, go into the room and start disturbing her. So I just decided to crawl here. And it was actually a very good night's sleep. I'm currently looking for a more permanent place of residence. It's not an easy process at all, but... I'm going to take you through it okay i've literally just come and invaded my sister's living room like all of this is my stuff even those shoes out there mine thank you sis thank you for hosting me here so far and thank you for continuing to host me until i sort myself out so that's a bit of what this vlog is going to be me literally just finding my footing here in Douala but I am so so happy to be back I'll tell you that much my sister has gone to work so I have the house to myself so I need to work today I need to do some writing and I'm going to shower now make some coffee sit down and just work okay guys I'm sure you can see very clearly I've showered and I look fresh I got this devotional from this Christian bookshop. It's called C-U-M Books. Some people call it Com Books. They have a few shops all over Cape Town. I really love it. And every time that I go there, it's, you know, I'm just excited all over again. So um, I'm just going to do today's date. I always prefer to read these things from my actual Bible because it's not a devotional that I know to be re reputable, but I just you know browse through it in the shop and loved it so i always prefer to use my own bible because sometimes these devotionals they say things and they claim that it's from the bible and that is not what the bible said romans 4 7 to 8 okay blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered Blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. That's Romans chapter 4, verse 7 to 8. I'm ready to take my breakfast now. But, well, not really breakfast, just a snack. I don't know where my sister keeps her sugar and i don't want to be texting her while, while she's at work all right i'm about to work right now honestly i'm not going to film this because i have shown myself working and studying hundreds of times okay not hundreds of times but that is like almost 50 percent of the content on this channel so i'm going to pull you guys up when you know later hi guys it's the next day <sighs> i just realized that somehow while traveling i don't know my bag must have fallen or something because my laptop screen is cracked i keep cracking things i cracked my phone i've now I've cracked my laptop screen i don't know when this happened but this is what has happened <laughs> like oh my gosh oh my goodness this is what's going on and the touch screen in this area is not working it goes like this i think it ends somewhere here but it could be worse though it could be worse as my darling sister says can i show you i'm still sad though guy just let me wallow in my sorrows my sister is cleaning up today while cleaning up she found fifteen thousand francs just lying about like literally just under the cupboard she just found fifteen thousand francs you you must be rich to have lost fifteen thousand francs and you didn't even realize and now she's going through through her jewelry she has found her ankle chain 
What else? You found your watch that your ex boyfriend gave you. Let's see. Oh my god, no, we're not going to call him our ex boyfriend. All right. Let's let's see. What if he watches this vlog? Ah, then he has watched it now, but he's not my ex boyfriend, and he knows that. It's my little boo thing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't exist. Is it just this rubber band that's supporting all these braids? Mm. Never, never exist to know. According to your knowledge and your will for me, what you have said, I just need to wall I know. Cause you are not a man that changes your mind, love. Does I know you will trust in you? Not in horses and chariots. So when you start doing sports now, how do you keep your braids fresh? That's that's why I know what was supposed to be. Honestly, wow. that was one. That was one of the reasons. Wow. That I, don't, I don't want to sweat. Do you want it to sit in the middle of your head no, or on no, the no. back of your head? The back. Give me. As you see me pulling her head like this, this is my older sister. She's what did I mean by one year? <laughs> We're twins. <laughs> We're twins. <Hey. laughs> Okay, wait, let me call Vincent and see where he is. <laughs> 